Don't be a bitch, kill a bitch, ha! Huh? Hello and welcome back to Nutby Plays Borderlands 2. You guys ready for some good, happy, smiley times? You're not gonna find them here. Shit's getting bad. Like, super bad. But it should be fun to play at least, so there's that. But before I do that, I need more ammo capacity to kill more fuckers. So let's do this. Welcome to the black market! <laughs> don't tell your friends. Uh, actually, I don't really know what I could use. Assault rifle would be nice, and uh, sniper rifle is always good because it's got such a low ammo capacity. And there we go. Calm the fuck down, Crazy Earl. You are indeed crazy. I don't know about Earl, but the crazy part is 100% true. Oh, hey, I should probably get rid of all this crap I don't need. Okay, now let's go on to the questing and such. Or mission. It feels weird calling them quests in this game. I'd rather call them missions because it feels more appropriate. Because it's not like, you know, fantasy. It's more sci-fi. And quest just feels better. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm... I'm rambling again. I apologize. Uh... I have no... I really hope the uh, waypoints are fixed. Because I really do not remember how to get to where I need to go. So, uh... Fingers crossed, everybody. This might just be a fucking episode of driving a car. What? How do you feel about gang wars? The Hodunks and his efforts have been having a half ass feud for years, and I've been thinking the world might be a tancy weensy bit better if all of them were dead. Or at least one of them. Grab those explosives and plan implants. The Ellips are back in the junkyard. Okay, ignore what she said. Uh, shut up, Ellie. I'm not doing that right now. By which I mean shoot lots of people and look damn good doing it. And leave the Zephyr emblem as a calling card. Then you head to Zephyr territory in the Highlands and do the same thing with the Hodunk emblem. Sound good? Anyway, that's just part of a side quest that you don't really need to worry about. It's not part of this Iridium Blight quest. Is this the right way to go? I really hope it is. Yay! I made it! I did it all on my own. Kinda. I mean, I guess I did drive here. Alright. So, I don't remember what happens next at all. Like, it's been a while since I played through this game. I know I've beaten it so Welcome many times, but blight. still. Before Hyperion, this place was, <laughs> well, still a crap hole, but it wasn't this bad. Yeah, this place is kind of shitty. It's also full of dangers and stuff, which is the same as the rest of Pandora, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah! <laughs> oh, God. I'm surprised Gage just isn't dead from head trauma. Which would be a sad way to end this game. <laughs> It'd be funny though. What is that? Okay, I die here a lot because this happens. And I'm not paying attention and I just drive off into death. So, be careful there guys. Oh, there's a gun chest here. Jack doesn't want us getting close to it. Yeah, no shit. Brick, you got a plan to get to the stockade? Blow stuff up, that's my plan. Vault Hunter, get the Sawtooth Cauldron. All right, now we're going to somewhere there. It's not here. That was the most useless sentence I've ever said. But uh, fuck. Yeah, we gotta go to ex get explosives for brick. I don't know why we have to get these specific. E oh shit, explosives. Open the path to the info stockade, but they'll need some better firepower. You're gonna steal some explosives for them. It's like you need to get these specific bits of dynamite. I know you have rocket launchers and explosive pistols and machine guns and the like, which you have essentially unlimited ammo for. You just gotta buy more, which you can use to shoot down this bridge. But no, you have to go this far out of your way to get this specific little bit of explosives that exist only here. Why? To pad out the game a little bit longer. Like, I wish they'd just let me go straight to it. It would've made the game a lot more smooth, but whatever, what can you do? I don't know how to get over there. Oh fuck, god damn it, I hate this place. There's like broken bridges everywhere and it's really hard to navigate. And by everywhere, I mean there's like two, but it still causes problems for me because I'm horrible at the directions and just generally things. Power slide, bitches! <laughs> that could not have gone worse. I exploded and I crashed, but whatever, we can't all be badass, I suppose. I mean, I certainly try, but it doesn't work out, which is sad. And here we are, Sawtooth Ah, Cauldron. <laughs> I've got to stop crashing into walls. Actually, not. No, it's funny. 
It's funny and interesting, and I'll just keep crashing as much as I want. This place is a bitch, because it's just boring. Well, not boring, it's just long. You gotta go through Guano Grotto. You'll have to push through a buttload of salty, but hell, wouldn't be any fun otherwise, right? I guess. It'd be fun if it were shorter. Like, it starts off pretty interesting. It's just your normal run-and-gun stuff, but... These bastards handed dozens of fault hunters to Jack once the pay got good enough. You kill them all, fault hunters, and you smile while you do it. Well, yeah, that's the game. Why wouldn't I smile when killing people? I like this sniper rifle. It's, it's sexy, delicious, and I love it. Ah! Too close! Jesus! This is chill. What was this like? Oh, yeah. This is not a bad quest. It's just, a, it's too long. Like, running through all of this and the different objectives, it just fe and all in this one area, also, it just feels like it should have been shorter. What? And to make it worse, it's just a padding mission. Like, you don't... This isn't really necessary to the plot. It's just an obstacle to get back to the plot. And it's like... Er, it just doesn't feel right. Also, the plot's not important, yes, I know, but still, I want to advance in the game. Just to advance. That's just how you do games. You get better and you play better and you go farther. So taking that away from you doesn't feel good. You should always be working towards your goal. Not working towards, working towards your goal. I guess. Whatever. Just fucking... I'm... I don't know what I'm talking about. I've never made a video game. I don't know how hard it is. I imagine it is hard, but I've never made one myself. So I'll just be quiet and stop being nitpicky. I'll stop being a bitch. At least for right now. Go back to killing bitches. Don't be a bitch. Kill a bitch. Ha! Do not use that... <laughs> don't use that logic in real life. You'll get in a lot of trouble. Oh, God. oh, I fell. That scared me. Okay. Let's see. Oh, God. I could go for some coffee. I've been trying to cut back on my caffeine intake because it's ridiculous. I got to the point where I was drinking two, like, eight cup French presses in a day without even thinking about it. That's quite a bit of caffeine. Or at least I feel like it is because I feel super fucking pumped after I'm done with it. So I was like... It was like 2 in the morning, and I'm like, why am I not tired? And I'm like, oh yeah, I've had so much caffeine today. <laughs> I really need to get more sleep. Okay, thank you for that. I plan to get it anyway. You didn't have to explain further. I wouldn't have just been like, I don't feel like I have enough direction in this quest, so I gotta stop and turn back and ask. No, I would just kept going and killing bitches. I see enemies, therefore I'm going the correct direction. But anyway, like, I can't just, I feel like it's not good for you to survive on, I don't know, four hours of sleep a night? Like, that's probably super bad for you. So like, I need, I'm just gonna drink less caffeine and hope I get more sleep. I mean, it makes sense. And if I don't, I'm gonna be pissed. Because why am I cutting back on my caffeine and feeling tired throughout the entire day if I'm not going to sleep more? I want a refund on... Oh, shit. No, I don't want to die. Sorry, not dying right now. I got shit to take care of. I got caffeine to not drink. Oh, God. I feel horrible. Because, like I've mentioned, I do work at a coffee shop. So a caffeine addiction with working in a coffee shop just goes hand in hand. It's pretty much required. And I just... Oh, it's killing me. I'm dying. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining like a bitch. I'm not trying to, but I don't feel good. Oh, God, so much noise. Let me in. Or something. Oh, look, everybody. It's a witty big slab trying to use our elevator. Get up. And I die here quite a bit, just because there's a sudden rush of enemies I'm usually not prepared to deal with. I don't- I-, I Yeah, like this. They run up from behind you, side you, like in front of you, like they're coming from fucking everywhere. And it's just- it's hard to deal with. Oh shit, I almost just died. Ah oh, no! I don't want to die! I've got stuff to take care of, I've mentioned this before, you people don't listen. You don't care about my needs. All you care about is trying to kill me, and it, it's just not cool. 
This is a this is not a relationship of give and take, <laughs> which is what a relationship should be. Even if it's just a I'm going to kill you relationship. Anything good? Not really. All right, so uh, and I don't know what the where are the ambush commanders. I guess I'll just follow the red dots on my map until I kill them. <laughs> if I kill all of the red dots, there'll be none left, and thus I will kill everyone I needed to. That's my logic, anyway. Seems pretty sound. Ah! Get him! Death trap! Fucking do your job, which is to death. It's in your name. Oh, come on. I Like, even if I live, I'm still losing a lot of anarchy! No! Oh, god damn it. I died. It doesn't feel good. Feels super bad. <sighs> oh well. On that note, I'm gonna end it here. We'll continue this mess of trouble in the next episode, so I'll see you then. Bye, folks.